In today's video, we're gonna make our Churchill live more heavy with chipping, oil dots, rust rig, and pin washes. It's part two of the Churchill series and now we're gonna attack the weathering process. Uh, I'm gonna start with uh, XF69 from uh, Tamiya. It's an enamel paint. I'm just gonna basically do a wash. Um, uh, mixing with uh, Tamiya um, enamel thinner. Um, the wash, we will apply uh, everything on the recess area. Um, basically, it's already gonna do a really awesome uh, way of starting our weathering. And instead of applying, for example, a filter or something like that, uh, by applying a wash on all the uh, recess area, uh, the nuts, the bolts, and all the crevices, um, it's already gonna make our tank live and more real because as soon as we apply the paint, it looks like, yeah, the, the, the look is good, but like I said, this thing live, it, it went on the battlefield. In this case, uh, all the markings are from the Normandy campaign. So it's for a diorama that I will do a little bit later with this Churchill tank. But um, that's the result we have so far, just with a simple wash, you're gonna have some amazing result right there by uh, having some streaks and some washes. The next step will be uh, starting the chipping uh, method. Um, basically, I'm using uh, US olive drab with dark sand, like 20% dark sand, 80% uh, um, uh, US olive drab. And honestly, um, I always do uh, basically chipping by brush, but I just wanna show you that you can also do it uh, by uh, stippling with a sponge. Uh, you can this way cover, I would say a larger area. The only thing is it's not that precise and basically if you don't wanna do it, just use a sponge, it's gonna be a lot easier. The next step will be uh, the oil dots. So we're basically using oil paint. Uh, the thing with oil paint, you just have to put it on the piece of cardboard and just make sure that the oil is gonna evaporate it a little bit before you apply uh, the, uh, the oil paint. We're just gonna basically do some dots all over the place. I'm using uh, basically uh, brown, green, uh, white, and also black um, this way uh, with in this case it's not going to be enamel because with oil paint you're you have to use white spirit so we're just going to basically dilute it everything by uh, basically doing some streaks and on the top of the vehicle we're just going to do basically some kind of a brush uh, to make sure that uh, you have um, a really good finish Honestly, the oil dots, uh, depending on the look you are looking for, um, it's even better than, than using, for example, like I said earlier, a filter or some, some kind of, um, I would say, to change the, the, the original color. But the oil dots is gonna give you so much, so much texture and depth to your weathering process. Now I'm just gonna paint the uh, little bag that I put on the side of the vehicle. Now we're just gonna apply and focus on the rust streaks. So I'm just gonna basically uh, put some, um, some rust dots um, around our nuts and bolts uh, or all the recess area, uh, area again. And um, basically it's the same kind of method that we use with the oil dots. So we're just gonna basically do some streaks uh, up to down, so up and down. And this way, uh, it's gonna mimic some, uh, some rust that uh, basically with time and all the bad uh, weather uh, that this tank uh, was, um, was faced uh, in, in Normandy, like heavy rain and different things like that. So 
Before we start applying the pin wash, it's super important that you apply a satin varnish. You can use a gloss varnish, but honestly, satin varnish is a hundred times better. It's gonna make your pin wash flow uh, like magic. So I'm using uh, a dark brown wash uh, for green vehicle by um, AK Interactive. Um, but honestly, you can use your or, or do your your own wash uh, with uh, acrylic paint if you want to. If you only have acrylic paint, doesn't really matter. You just mix uh, a brown color with uh, uh, water, uh, probably 50-50, and just add uh, a bit of dish soap. This way it's gonna flow uh, perfectly into uh, all the recess. And um, since we're using enamel product, we're just gonna basically um, remove all the excess uh, wash that we did with an enamel uh, tenor at that time. Um, this time I'm also gonna focus on the, uh, the wheels of the train tracks. Um, we're gonna start the process of weathering for the tracks uh, a little bit later, uh, but in this case, I'm just gonna add some basically, uh, again, the same product, Rust Streaks, and it's already gonna apply some depth and uh, some weathering process to our, uh, to our tank. So again, we're just gonna focus all the pin wash. Honestly, the pin wash, if you have only one thing to do as a weathering process, just do a pin wash. This thing gonna make your tank live, it's gonna make your tank more heavy, and honestly, just a really great paint job. You apply a pin wash, and right there, you're gonna have a really uh, good weathering. If you're just a beginner, just start with a pin wash. That's the one thing you have to, I would say, perfect uh, before you start chipping and different things like that. The pin wash, it's super easy, and honestly, the result is already uh, is already pretty good because, like I said, it's going to be a darker color on all your recess area. So this way, your tank uh, is going to start to live a little bit, and it's going to look a little bit darker on all the recess area, and that's going to make your tank live. And maybe another trick that you can do is just do a just a light dry brushing. Uh, with um, with uh, oily steel, I think it's the the, the color. I don't uh, I don't remember, but uh, I think it's yeah, oil steel. And you just basically do a really light dry brush uh, into all the nuts and bolts, uh, your uh, train tracks, and basically all the raised area. In this case, not the recess area, but the raised area. But you're just basically gonna do a really small dry brush of the oily steel color. This way it's gonna make your model pop a little bit more because you apply pin wash uh, just before and now you're just gonna apply some kind of a highlight uh, to all your raised area. The last highlight that I will apply in this case, since it's a green vehicle, I'm gonna use buff and again I'm gonna basically just do a really 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 gentle dry brush onto all the erased area uh, in this vehicle. So this way the weathering process is uh, already absolutely fantastic. Your tank starts to live and make you, you just make your tank more real and more I would say um, um, battlefield ready I would say uh, but honestly the weathering process is probably the thing that I enjoy the most uh, about uh, building models so that's the result we have so far with all the weathering, the weathering process the next video will be about mud dust and a really uh, nice rust job